What's up, everybody? It's me, Crosspatch. Welcome back to my Madden 22 Pittsburgh Steelers franchise. The Detroit Lions are in town. Pittsburgh Steelers are 8-0 on the season so far, sitting on top of the AFC North standings. Uh, these Lions uh, not having a great season. 1-7 and seven on the year. But you never know. We're playing on all Madden. Anything can happen. This could be our first loss of the year. Um... Probably not. But we'll see. So we have a uh, couple of goals today. One is to get 150 yards for uh, um, uh, Chase Claypool receiving as we take a look at uh, Jared Goff's stats. Not so great on the season. And uh, we have a few defensive notes here. I'm going to be using uh, Cam Hayward and TJ Watt in some different uh, roles today a little bit. But other than that, it is uh, some business as usual for this defense. We're going to be bringing pressure. Pressuring the quarterback like that. I don't know how that was a fumble, but we'll take it. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage, but I think the good news... That was a weird-looking fumble, but if they say so. Somebody get in there. Wrapped up by uh, Fitzpatrick. Swift with a gain of four. That brings up a third and 21. And we are going to go into our uh, trustworthy uh, cover three. And a nickel formation. Let them make a catch in front of us. Or oh, throw the ball deep. Oh, man. Witherspoon is torched by Williams. Defender was right there in his shorts. Is that one of those situations as a DB? All right. Just tip your cap and say, nice catch. Well, you're supposed to, but a true competitor, he's not tipping. So Jared Goff stepping up early in the game here. And Swift with a nice run. Gain of nine. If it was incomplete, would have been fourth down. Exactly. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Swift again picks up the first down, and that big play is putting uh, putting Detroit in a pretty good position here in the first drive of the game. It's a stop, brings up a second and nine, and uh, I'm going to go with this four-man front here. I've got T.J. Watt playing a middle linebacker kind of position here uh, just because it gives him a good opportunity to get pressure on the quarterback like that. He's our best pass rusher. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. Third and nine. Throwing on third. Gone. And that's out to the flat for Swift. Sutton makes the tackle, prevents them from getting a first down, and maybe they're kicking a field goal this time. All right, so big play by uh, Goff. Connects with Williams on a 57-yard pass. Uh, puts the, their offense in a good position, but they... Can't get more than a field goal out of it. So a little bit of a bullet dodge there. Let's go, McLeod. Ray Ray. Not quite back to where he would have been if he had just uh, taken the touchback. And here comes Big Ben. Take a look at his numbers on the season. Who says he's washed up? 
18th season in the National Football League. So our goal is to get Ben back to the Super Bowl. I don't know how many years he'll stick around for, but uh, we will keep him as long as he wants to keep coming back. That one's intended for Fryermuth. Knocked away. So this game, Charles, you know, we talk about potential unbeaten seasons a lot. It feels like every year at some point in the season we talk about that. But this is one of those games where if you're unbeaten, you got to be careful. You can't take this one too lightly. You're exactly right about that. And by right Underneath this Miss Schuster. That brings up a third in inches, and we will let our rookie halfback pick this up. Najee Harris having a great rookie season. Closing in on a thousand yards. And this is going to be a Steelers first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. Oh, that's a very good run there by Najee Harris, who can take it inside. He can get to the perimeter. He can do it all with his build mm. and his speed. This is a guy coming out of Alabama who did everything for the Crimson Tide. That's why Pittsburgh took him in the first round. Last in the league in rushing as a team last year were the Steelers. They're expecting Harris to kick some uh, the running game. There's Claypool. There's right Wasn't sure with that cover two back there, but it worked out. Chase Claypool with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Steelers have taken the yep. lead. Chris Boswell now. So there's 61 of his yards that he needs. Everybody's happy on the sideline. Browns are up on the Patriots, seven zip. Keep an eye on these scores. The uh, we've got a decent lead in AFC North, but uh, all three of those uh, teams behind us are are having good seasons themselves. So we don't have a lot of wiggle room. And right now this organization, more than likely if you look at it, CD, probably in for a rough second half of the season. Well, we've seen teams turn things around in other places. Nowhere to go for Swift. Loss of one, Devin Bush takes him down. I think these guys are playing to get into the playoffs. They're playing for their job. So is the coaching staff. They're coaching for theirs. Front office trying to keep theirs. The heat is on from all directions. TJ Watt wraps them up in the backfield. That's going to bring up a third and 13. It might be just in the league in some other spot. Third down, now even tougher. Third and 13. After we'll go to our nickel. A shotgun snap for goal. Make that tackle. There we go. We'll get them off the field again. End of the first quarter. We are up 7 3 on this uh, Detroit Lions team. The NFC's Pro Bowl punter a year ago, Jack Fox, on a punt for the Lions. Ray Ray McLeod deep for Pittsburgh. Let's go, Ray Ray. It's taken to the 26. Nowhere to go for Ray Ray. It'll be a net of 39. 41 yard punt, two on the return. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. They're at the halfway point of the season, Charles. 8 and 0. Oh. What a great I'm start. this crosser again. I forgot I just ran this. Not the outright favorite through two Forgot I just ran this play. Let's see if it works again. Things you can say right now because this team is playing for Nope. Well. Different cover. Oh, a sack. Pressure too strong. Down he goes. Trey Flowers, the former Arkansas coach is angry. In there to get him. I know. He's still looking through his progressions and going through his receiver options. And while he was doing that, the defense got to him quickly in the pocket. And it was a great example of zone coverage. Well executed, well coordinated. All the receivers were covered, and he couldn't evade the rush. There's Back Claypool. You get that first down, not quite. A good pick up there. 18 yards. Is that That's a third and one. We will again go to our rookie halfback here. Taking a sack on first down. Harris drags the defender for a few yards. Well, 
currently the best in the NFL in converting on third down, so it was no surprise there that they picked that one up. And they've done it in many different ways throughout the season, Charles. Picking it up, running it, throwing it, just effective on third downs all year long. This is Harris. Oh, kind of trip there it looked like. They set them up with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. On second down, this is Harris. Harris for another decent run. Yeah, once more, strong running, excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. Claypool has 79 of his 150 yards. Let's see if they're going to cover Harris here. And they do not. Oh, and that could have been a touchdown. If not for that little hitch in his giddy up. Anzalone trying to cover Harris. Uh, did not come out to uh, match up on him for some reason. Should have been a touchdown. There's Claypool. Hangs on to it for a touchdown. That's worth a swagger. I guess that's a swagger. There we go. It's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. All right, offense is clicking. Defense is playing well. Let's uh, get this ball back and get another score before the half. St. Brown kneels it. They'll take possession at the 25. And they've got two minutes and 44 seconds here to work with. Um, back out onto the field. Coming off every player's friend, the open week from last weekend. We want to get this ball back and score. Even if you're coming off of a loss as they did, the open week is exactly what you need after you kind of get over it a little bit, right? Rest up the body. Gain of nine. Get yourself ready to go. And they have to be eager to play again, especially since they lost the last time out. Swift maybe gets the first there. He does. All right, two minutes. Two minute warning. I'm gonna go to our dime here. Start putting some pressure on Goff. You play to the tight end for a few. And I don't even know who I'm using. Let's go, Witherspoon. Got beat earlier in the game. Played the ball better that time. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. From the gun, here's gone. That's good. Uh. It's a swift out of the backfield. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. All right. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first half, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. Again, Goff. Open man is Quintez Cephas. Goff is working the ball down the field. 8 for 10 for 123 yards. Having a pretty decent, uh, pretty decent first half. Uh, despite the lack of scoring. And they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. 
First and ten here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. The Goff's throw complete there to St. Brown. All right, complete to St. Brown. He's now going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number really one. Really want this ball back. To throw again on second down, Goff. He'll find Swift. Out Swift goes nowhere. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. A minimal game there. And they don't mind running clock. I might be calling. Well, I am going to have to call a timeout if we keep them short of the first here. Get in there. Cam Hayward. We'll take a timeout. the first of their three timeouts. As the stoppage will come with 23 seconds. And they're going to get a field goal. We should get at least one shot. Uh, downfield. Yikes. All right, we made that. And a second field goal here cuts their deficit to 14 to 6 now. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, All his right. confidence should be sky high. So let's see what we can do here. Um... We do have two timeouts. Never call a, a Hail Mary. There's no reason to ever call a Hail Mary in this game. There's so many, so many better plays. Oops. I'm going to take one of my timeouts there. Rather than argue with... Uh, yeah, that's still not what I want. All right, let's go. They'll throw on first down with Roethlisberger. They'll get this to his tight end. That's Pat Fryermuth. Now the Steelers are going to use their third and final timeout. As they'll stop it with All right, trying to set up our shot here that we want to take, if we can take it, from this hash mark. And that's no good. Get rid of that. Ah, oh, and that's a flag. That might be a runoff, too. Oh, a roughing call. All right. I thought that was going to be uh, intentional grounding. The hit comes late. We saw it. There's your flag. And we know that there's a guideline, right? Ball's gone. You get one step. If you're within one step of the quarterback, you can hit him as long as it's still done legally. But anything outside of that... All right. That'll be the end of the half. We're going to go into the locker room four, up 14 to 6. Take a look at the big floating scoreboard as we go past. We send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, our defense uh, not quite um, holding up as I'd like them. We do they do we did only hold them to two field goals. So that's a good thing. But we're giving up some longer drives there. It takes this near the twenty five, just a little pass there, call it the twenty six. But it's only the first season. This team will get better. Maybe 60 yards, something like that, for Claypool. This won't go to Claypool, though, but this might be a touchdown. There's Deontay Johnson. First play in the second half. Coach is happy, fans are happy. Let's go, Boswell. And this will not be brought out, it's a touchback. 
So we get a look at the Lions offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? Down goes Goff. Bush's first sack of the day. Racking up sack number 12 for him on the year. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see. That's what we do. We bring, we bring the blitz. Pressure coming at you. And you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest. TJ Watt with pressure on the quarterback. Goff throws it away. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero resulted. Back to our nickel. Hopefully nobody gets beat deep. Oh, and they're going to call. Uh, yeah, they're going to call Cam Sutton for pass interference. Unbelievable. Oh, the crowd doesn't like that. That's the second time this game uh, we've had them on their heels on a third, third and long and uh, had... Had a conversion due to a big play, or a penalty in that case. P.J. Watt makes a stop in the backfield. Let's stay with this four-man front. Let's go, TJ. Well, the terrible towels here at Heinz Field. Out in full force. Here's third and long. To throw is gone. Oh, and it flopped right in front of him. I thought it was diving at him. It was tackle. That's no good. Get the third down conversion. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time they pick up a first down. So now on defense, the U.S. Another bad throw by Goff. And try and cover him before he gets going. A second and ten forthcoming here. Third quarter action in the Steel City of Pittsburgh, PA. Back to throw, Goff. Out to the flat. That's complete to his right. Get off the block. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Third and two. With a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. A first carry now for the BYU man. Devin Bush isn't having it. Lost him five for Williams. As they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. A five-yard loss there is So they're going to kick another field goal. So that's kind of been the name of the game. Uh, they've been uh, moving the ball on us, and uh, we've been holding them to field goals. Cybert able to knock this one through. And they're hanging around here as the lead's down to 12. So the response. And I don't know how hard I'm going to work to try to get a. Uh, Playful is 150 yards. Because I think you needed to answer back with something, even though it's not six. Just enough to send a message that says... Because I do want to shut the ball down. Shut things down a little bit, run the ball. I guess we can take... Take one more look for Claypool. They've gone two months without a loss. Eight straight wins for them. And they've got the lead here in this one as well. Trying to make it nine in a row. Oh! That'll put him close. He needs 27 yards. He's been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. Consistent and sometimes spectacular. The line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Now Roethlisberger. Claypool again. With another catch. Crossover out of bounds right at the 25. And that gives him what? He needs six more yards. Six yards. 
And what's he win? Who knows? There we go. That should do it. Roethlisberger approaching 300 for the day. Yeah, Claypool's got 157. Harris. A little struggle there. Second and eight. Second and eight. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help oh boy. this offense and widen this margin, too. Flushed out right. Bad throw. It looked like Claypool had position on him. Tried to throw it low, and he just jumped in front of him. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the two ah. All right. Started rolling out. I thought there was a window, but that window closed quickly, intercepted. And sometimes, despite how big your arm talent is, you don't get enough on a throw when you're on the move, as opposed to setting your feet and stepping into one. That may have been the case there, and the defense certainly benefited. After the interception, here's gone. He gets this complete to Cephas, and he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. And that's the end of the third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL. 21-9 lead over these Lions. A few mistakes may have been made. Now a first down throw. Gone. This one caught. It's the tight end Hawkinson. And getting this just shy of midfield. They'll spot it at the 49. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? T.J. Watt makes contact, but somehow, Goff still gets rid of it. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. The Golden Domer. Uncle, we used to call that. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes, and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air, and sometimes you throw it so hard, your receiver. Well, I don't know how much my plan to rattle the quarterback by putting uh, Watt at this middle linebacker position is doing. Um, the completion there, and when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand. A field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess. He look just as well with Bush in there. As as possible, try and throw it into the end zone and get a score because they know they've got to get that done and get the ball back as quickly as possible. To the air again. Gone. Got his man. That's Tyrell Williams. And they'll get this one down to about. And once again, they are in the red zone. Back to back 11 yard gains, and they've got another first down. But correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in. under pressure. Cam Hayward, second sack of the day. Cam Hayward uh, recently upgraded. Uh, to Superstar X Factor. Uh, not in our game, of course, because we started that. We started this franchise before that, but. A little bit of respect from the Madden Raiders there. And I think. Uh, Cam Hayward, a Hall of Famer, I kind of think he is. They become just as critical to the passing attack. Uh, he's been a little bit of a low-key superstar in this league over the years. Who are the Hall of Famers on the Steelers' current roster? Roethlisberger, maybe Hayward, uh, maybe, and there's Hayward again, third sack of the day. 
Uh, TJ Watt, I think, is right on the cusp. Another couple of good seasons, and he is uh, probably a, a Hall of Famer. On second down now, Swift. And there is nowhere for him to cut back as he's taken down in the backfield. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. I kind of thought the Castro could have been a Hall of Famer if he had stuck around. Unbelievable. All right. So this game a little closer than uh, than I expected it to be. Is Mike Tomlin a Hall of Fame coach? Like if he retired today. Two Super Bowl appearances. One win. Never had a losing season. Pittsburgh set to take over again on offense. I don't know. That's kind of a tough one, I think. Quite over yet, and we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. A nice run on first down gets him six yards to the 31. Now a timeout called. Najee Harris wants to go to the Hall of Fame someday. I'm sure. Maybe. Maybe he's never thought about it. I don't know. I've thought about it. I would like to see him in the Hall of Fame if he stays a Steeler his whole career. They stay on the ground again. It's Harris. There's a nice run. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts, and they'll be disappointed. Yeah, focused on this uh, play pool thing. Uh, this this game. Uh, Harris kind of took a back seat. We'll get him some yards and mop up here. Well, not really mop up. I mean, they are. They're within a. Within a touchdown on us here. So not not any room for messing around. Give. This is Harris. Harris bulls ahead. Call it a gain of three, but not enough to Doesn't have the stick. first. Third and about a two. Clock. That run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's gonna break for big yardage, but he understands the situation and taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. There's the first down. We'll run the ball once more. And we will be out of here. If you've enjoyed this game, I appreciate you hanging out. We're going to look at uh, team stats and individual stats after this. A little bit of a weird game. Uh, I feel like my head wasn't in it or something a little bit. Um, yeah, I feel like we should have uh, done a little better against Detroit today. But we got to win. We're going to 9 and 0. Staying on top of the NFC, the uh, AFC North. And uh, you know, so this one in the win column for the Pittsburgh Can't Steelers. ask for much more, I guess. It wasn't really always pretty. They had their bumps and bruises, really both sides did, but they did what they needed to do at home to get the win. Yeah, they Cam Hayward with a great day. Because nothing um, came easy. Every snap of course, was um, a major league brawl. They had to win Claypool the got the yards he needed. Field. I feel like that kind of messed up our offense a little bit whenever we have those things. You know, every team wants to be physical. We've heard that a million times, right? Those who are mentally tough, those are the teams that you have to Yeah, Jared Goff played a pretty decent game. 21-26, to 26. One touchdown. Roethlisberger, 11 for only through 14 passes. Uh, and you know, we played the eight minute quarters last game, and he only threw 18 passes. So I'm not really convinced it matters statistically that much. Uh, three touchdowns and an interception, 292 yards, 
a lot of deep throws. Uh, Harris, 63 yards on the ground. Claypool, 157 yards. Two scores. Johnson had that one long 74-yarder. Smith-Schuster, a couple of catches. Any of our linemen embarrass themselves? Nope. Three sacks for Hayward, one for Watt, one for Bush. No interceptions. And that's about it. I hope you enjoyed the game. Uh, we've gone to 9-0. and We're still on top of that uh, AFC North division. And um, if you did enjoy it, please go ahead and hit that like button. Maybe subscribe to the channel. Whatever you decide to do, I hope you have a great day. And I will see you next game.